Okay, sixth graders, so the purpose of this video right now is to help you get your social studies notebook, your e-notebook, set up for our study of chapter one within your entire e-binder that you're going to be using for language arts and social studies. Okay, um, so what I would first like to direct your attention towards is that as I go through um, this particular tutorial, um, I'm going to be using my e-binder. Okay, um, and what you'll notice is that my e-binder looks almost identical to yours. Truly, the only difference is that right here where yours says student profile, mine says teacher profile. Other than that, if I scroll down, I've got my All About Me locker, pinboard or poster, and I've also got those beginning of the year resources, um, just like you do. Remember that you made your um, copy of my template, so everything that I have right now is something that you should also have access to. Okay, now you might notice that this is for my period that I'm working on um, my binder for periods one and two, um, but this video will also apply if you are in my period four um, or six, seven sections. Okay, so again, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, set up uh, the social studies portion um, of our notebook so that we can get started with section one. Okay, so what I would like you to do is um, uh, when, uh, when I let you guys go on your own, um, you might be watching this at the same time and you might be doing like a pause, do it on your own, pause, do it on your own, or you might be watching this entire video and then going to do it all on your own. Um, either way, please just make sure that you follow along with me, okay? Um, so you want to start where it says social studies and we'll come here and we're gonna click on where it says chapter one, archeology span or early man, okay? Um, Archaeology and the early people, um, those are the two topics covered um, in the first section of the um, sixth grade social studies curriculum. Okay, so that's where we'll start. What I'd like you to do from here is go ahead and this actually should not be here. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, the next thing that I would like you to do is come down here. Okay, and notice that there is the option to choose divider. Go ahead and add that in here. Um, the purpose of the divider is just to add like an additional line between different um, kind of chunks or different parts of your e-binder um, or of your different chapters so that um, we're able to create a little bit more organization. Okay, so we've got our header up here. We've got our divider. Now we're ready to get going with the essential question. Okay, so to do so, what I would like you to do is scroll up and I would like you to click where it says text box, okay? Um, one of the things that I always like to do right off the bat when I create a new text box is go to create a background, okay? And I'm gonna move my little face right up here for just a second, okay? Um, I always like to create a background because then um, from that point forward, um, I can always see um, see uh, the background and the text and if it works um, well together, if there's any kind of contrast that is um, for any reason kind of um, distracting. So um, if I were you, I would come here to the palette. Okay, I would select image, oops, palette, image, and select image. I always like to go with this, um, with this calm blue right here as a background, I think that's always a great choice, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on where it says click to edit text. Now, um, the first thing that we're always gonna add at the beginning of a chapter is the essential question, okay? Um, you wanna treat the essential question as like the biggest piece of knowledge that you wanna take away from the chapter. Um, one of the ways I've described it to students in the past is like, you wanna treat the essential question as if you take a 50, um, 50 question test and the essential question is the most important question. If you get all of the other answer or all of the other questions wrong, it's okay as long as you get the essential question right, okay? The essential question is kind of the question that you wanna keep at the forefront of your brain the throughout the entire chapter. So typically we'll have you know different chapters in social studies and within each chapter there's different sections, okay? Um, now the, uh, the essential question is a question that could 
um, relate to every single section within a chapter. Okay, it's kind of like all encompassing. So it's again, like I said earlier, it's the most important question. So the thing that we want to do right now is go from normal text right here to title. You'll notice that title um, has the text that's the um, largest and most bold. Okay, so we're going to click title. Okay, and we're going to center our text for organization's sake. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to type um, chapter one essential question. Okay, so chapter one hyphen essential question. And then what we'll do from there is we're going to um, we're going to click enter. Okay, and then we will select the next largest um, um, size of font. Um, Google Sites doesn't have a ton. Um, so we're going to come down here to heading. Okay, once again, we'll center um, our work right there. Or the We'll center the cursor. And what I'd like you to do right now is add the essential question for chapter one. Again, this is the essential question that no matter if you're in section one, section two, or section three, this is the question that I want to be on the forefront of your brain. This is the one I want you thinking about the entire time that you're reading. Okay, go ahead and type this with me. What was life like before civilizations and how do we know? Okay, again, that's that question that um, we should be thinking about when we're reading section one, thinking about when we read section two, and thinking about when we read section three. Um, another way to think of this is um, if I were to give you a test on chapter one, um, if, there, if I had to pick as the teacher, if I had to pick one question, I couldn't give you any more. This would be the one question that I would give you because it's the most important one for you to be able to answer. Okay. After you do that, we're going to come down here and we're actually going to add another divider, just like so. Okay. Um, similar to the way that we did this last time, we're going to add another text box. Okay. And again, I'm going to go to section background, image, select image. I'm going to use the same background to create, um, to keep things kind of organized. I don't want a ton of different colors throwing me off. And I already have my section headers right here. So it's not going to like all blend together. Okay. Now, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to click to edit text. I'm going to go to the third largest text right here, which is the subheading. And now what I'm going to do is instead of centering everything to show that this is one section within the chapter, I'm going to keep myself um, over here. I'm going to keep my um, text um, uh, dragged over to the left for right now. And I'm going to title this section one. And then um, the title of the section. So I'm going to put it in, um, in quotation marks. Studying the distant past. Okay. So now that I have that, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and bold it um, so that it stands out a little bit. Okay. And then now that that's done, I'm going to once again add another divider. Okay. Now this next part um, is particular to something that we're going to be doing a little bit later in the lesson today, but I think it's equally as important that we get ourselves set up for success. Um, so at this point, go ahead and um, scroll up and under where it says layouts right here. Um, go ahead and click this box. It's the it's the top one to the right where there are two pictures and then two text boxes underneath. Okay, so go ahead and click that right there. Once again, I'm going to follow the same pattern. I'm going to go to section background, image, select image, and I'm going to choose that same um, kind of calm background right there, just like that. Perfect. Okay, right here where it says um, click to edit text, I would like everyone to do this. Okay, I would like you to say Mrs. Teas's handwritten Cornell notes. Okay, and then over here, I would like you to say Mrs. Teas's typed Cornell notes.
notes. Okay, and maybe, yes, okay, that, you know what, I want Cornell notes. Um, no, I like it better that way. Okay, at this point right here, um, all you need to do is add one more divider at the very end, and this is where you can stop right here, okay? If you are here, you have everything that you need in order to be successful for chapter one, section one at the beginning, okay? Now we will go back and we will add to this um, and you will start to see your um, social studies notebook and your chapter one um, evolve. Um, we'll start to add, um, add different things in here. So you'll see that we're gonna add different things um, to these two plus marks. But for right now, um, if your e-binder looks like this as it stands, you are totally good to go.